Salutations, my disciples. It is your boy, Dr. Cursed here, and welcome back to another episode of Cursed Cracked. In this series, we focus on uncovering the truth on certain subjects. Today's subject, the Roblox voice chat Ruben Sim drama. If you are unaware, Ruben Sim is a Roblox YouTuber and developer. He makes content slightly edgier than the typical family-friendly Roblox YouTuber. Ruben has been in some Roblox drama before, such as when he accused a 2014 Bloxy winner named Mr. Obvious of performing predatory actions towards a 15-year-old girl on Discord. And if I'm being completely honest, he made a strong case. It didn't sound like complete bullshit. However, this video isn't about a Roblox pedophile. It's about the Roblox voice chat controversy. He would upload a video on September 5th, 2021 called Swearing at Roblox Admins with Voice Chat. Speaker emoji. He was one of the lucky ones that had been given early access to Roblox voice chat. Shortly after he uploaded the video, every single one of his accounts got banned. It is believed that he had over a hundred of them. One thing that many viewers pointed out is the fact that other developers were swearing in the video and they were not faced with any consequences. It's obvious that some of the past drama he had with Roblox had some influence on the sentence he was given in the court of Robloxia. There is still one question that must be asked, however. Will he ever be unbanned from Roblox or be permitted to make another Roblox account? Now I know that this may seem like asking if Roblox would unban Aspeeder420 or some dumbass shit right there. But no might not actually be the only answer. And I say might because the answer might deadass just be no. Many years ago, there was once a YouTuber known as Albert Stuff. His content would consist of him swearing heavily, bypassing the Roblox filter to make accounts with inappropriate names, making edgy jokes, visiting Roblox strip clubs, catfishing dudes on Roblox, and even investigating Meep City orgy parties. Yes, parties like that existed on Roblox, and they were, unfortunately, very real. Nowadays, Albert Stuff is known as Flamingo, a Roblox YouTuber with almost 10 million subscribers. He is now even involved in a Roblox partnership. But how? How the hell did he go from one of the most edgy Roblox YouTubers to becoming one of Roblox's biggest allies? It's quite simple actually. He quit his old channel and started from scratch. He's even gone as far as deleting the videos on the Albert Stuff channel. Albert is committed to this partnership, and it seems nothing is going to stop him. But would Ruben do the same thing? Would he start from scratch just to climb his way up to be accepted by the Roblox admins again? Probably not. He'll probably just get a new IP and make a few new accounts and continue to play Roblox. Except, he has had a lifetime ban applied to him a while ago. Like three years ago, when he made fun of a Roblox admin for looking at furry porn on Twitter. And after that point, he hasn't stopped making Roblox videos. In fact, he's found himself in a position that would allow him to try out the Roblox voice chat feature early. But will Roblox be so forgiving this time? Maybe, maybe not but at least we have a little sliver of hope. Well, I just got finished recording the scripts for this video, and I look on YouTube and see that Ruben Sim has uploaded a video called Returning to Roblox Voice Chat. The description says, Using a virtual machine, I bypass a Mac address ban to continue using voice chat on a borrowed account and discuss Roblox moderation with other users. Hey, that's the little sliver of hope that we needed. We just got it right now. It just premiered like, like, like a little bit ago.
Oh, I'm gonna head out now. You guys check out my other videos. I'll see you guys later. Love you.